Why play Karzik's jungle? Well, he brings a massive amount of burst damage. He is a very easy assassin to pick up and do well with. He can solo carry games, and he is incredibly mobile. However, he can be squishy, especially if locked down. And where he has a large amount of burst damage, he does struggle to get through tanks. Karzik's passive is whenever the enemy loses sight of him, he gains unseen threat. This buff will last until used, even if the enemy sees him afterwards. This makes his next basic attack against an enemy champion deal damage and slow them. Karzik's Q has a passive which causes enemies to become isolated. An enemy is considered isolated if they're not nearby an ally. The active on the Q is a point and click ability which deals damage to an enemy champion. This ability is massively increased against isolated targets. When the Q is evolved, Karzix gains a passive which gives him bonus range on his basic attacks and his Q. And in addition, if the target's isolated, the cooldown is reduced by 45% upon use. Karzix's W is a straight line skill shot which deals damage to the target hit and nearby enemies. If Karzix is close enough to be within the area of damage, he also heals himself. When this ability is evolved, it fires three straight line skill shots out in a cone and also slows and reveals enemy champion's hit. And if the target is isolated, the slow becomes massive. Karzix's E causes him to dash to a location, dealing damage in a circle. Q can also be cast while he's mid-dash. When this ability is evolved, it gains bonus range and the cooldown resets upon scoring a takedown. Karzix's ultimate has the passive which allows him to evolve an ability every time he gets a rank in the ultimate. The active causes Karzix to become invisible where he gains bonus movement speed, and this ability can be activated twice. And as you go invisible, this resets the unseen threat passive. When this ability is evolved, the invisibility lasts longer and can be used a third time. For combos, start with ultimate to approach and use your W into an auto attack and Q. Use ultimate again to reset your passive before attacking with Q every time it's off cooldown, using E to chase down your target. For matchups, Karzix is great against champions who can easily isolate and blow up. And he can struggle against champions who can lock him down and that he also can't burst out. For runes, take this, first strike is great burst. For build order, start blue monster and pot into dusk blade and tier 2 boots. After this, an edge of night and survivor's grudge are great pickups before finishing your build with any of these as needed. For skill order, start Q then W then E before maxing Q then W then E, taking ult whenever you can. When evolving your abilities, start with Q then W then E. However, as long as you evolve Q first, the rest of these can be flexible depending on the situation. For summoner spells, take Flash and Smite. Starting the game, you have a few different options. The safest option is always to do a full jungle clear to make sure you're as strong as you can be to take Scuttle Crab if you need to fight for it. Otherwise, you can do both buffs and one other camp for a quick level 3 into an early gank. When ganking, always consider the three main points of what CC does your team bring, what escapes does the enemy have, and where is lane pushed to. When ganking, if possible, save your jump. If you can simply walk up to your enemy and throw out a ton of burst damage before chasing them down with your E, you'll have a great chance of getting the kill. And when you hit level 6, you gain a massive massive amount of mobility and additional damage from being able to reset your passive. So look for the easiest target to isolate, hunt down and kill and convert into an objective. The mid game is where Karzix is incredibly strong. Your ability to isolate champions and get picks is incredible. So keep up aggressive wards, look for picks or 2v2 or 3v3 skirmishes where he excels and convert into objectives. Entering late game team fights, you want to play the resetting assassin role. Wait for the fight to start and use your ultimate and E to flank onto the fight. Get onto one of their carries and explode them with your massive burst combo. From here, with the Duskblade passive and E, either jump to safety or simply jump onto your next target, reset setting again.